Yes, ma'am. I have a question. So when you are, when you wake up, do you, and you stick with praying, and, um, you know, you catch yourself when you overreact or whatever, and you endure, do you think most people eventually, like, um, I guess, become a son or daughter of, of God? Like, if you continue that path. I'm sorry, repeat that in a little louder for me. So, okay, so when you wake up, right, you... Meaning when you overcome the father state. Well, I mean, I feel like I saw, like, I heard your message, and I was like, yes, this is right. This right. is the truth, right? Right. So I went, forgave, and... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> But I still catch myself, I still get, like, annoyed. And I know that's still not, not, I might not overreact how I typically would. But I still feel like I get a little irritated. And I typically, like, don't go into arguments or anything. Right. I just kind of stay quiet. Yeah. But, um, so I, I feel like, am I eventually going to get rid of that? As so long? if I stick with the prayer and I, um, you know, and I endure right instead of lashing out or whatever absolutely because that's the uh the, the the stuff he's cleaning up he would clean up all the unrighteousness okay. and so you're blessed in that now you can see it right. you see yourself being annoyed you're not overreacting anymore you're not cursing out your husband or your child right the fact that you can see it and you're being still you're overcoming it as long as you don't overreact okay amazing is coming Really, okay. just don't overreact. And Satan will try to tell you, oh, you're not saved. Look, you still have anger. It's just the unrighteousness stuff that's being cleared up. B because if you didn't see it if, if, if you didn't if you didn't know God, you wouldn't be able to see it. He's right. allowing you to see it, so he's taking care of it. So if it does come, just relax, let it pass, and you're fine. Okay. And so when I say I kind of like, because my daughter now, she's always like, oh, you're mad, mom. You know? She said you react? Well, she, like when I'm like telling her, you know, I, I have to like speak up for her to do something, right? right? So she'll be like, oh, you're mad. Now you're oh, mad, right? Yeah. And so I find <laughs> it like I, when that happens, I kind of go like, and then I go, I'm not mad, but I have to speak up for you to do what I'm asking you to do. Right. Um, yeah, they would. But try there's sometimes that, that that does irritate me. Yeah. I might not go, you know, how I used to be all ah, whatever. Yeah. But um, so I kind of I I in the beginning I would apologize to her and tell her like I was wrong, and now I just like I don't want to continue doing that because it just seems like That's she's right. like oh because she's she, she's, she's a use a reverse psychologist right are you yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she sure is. Because you raise your voice or right. tell her to do it now. You mad, mom. Yeah. Just say, whatever, go do it. Okay. You know your own heart, you're not right. mad. Okay. That's why the Christians think Jesus was mad. Because he turned over oh, the right, tables right. in the White House. They think that he was mad. <laughs> 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 Obama left his junk in the White House. And Trump went in there and turned it over. And they said, he mad, but Jesus wasn't mad. Right. And, but if you take strong action, the blind are going to think that you are mad because that's all they know. Okay. They only know that to, they don't know you have real power when you wake up. And so they are thinking that you're being mad. So when your daughter try that, just say, whatever, you still got to clean up right. and, and let it pass. Otherwise, she will manipulate you. Yeah, no, and I tell her, I just need you, because when I talk to her and, you know, Yeah, normal, don't keep apologizing like, eh. either. Yeah, I, I stopped doing that, because I realized that at some point she's going to say, well, she's kind of... She'll get sick of the apologies. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no. Good question. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I ain't no telling what we're about to hear now. No, 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 no. No, this is a real. It's a really good question. I've been thinking about this for like maybe four weeks now, and um, so Jesus was the guy with you know all all faith, right? Like the main guy during those times, when everyone was facing you know in the eyes of danger, he just told you know calm stuff, told them to calm down, relax, have faith in God. So why, whenever he was facing death, he said, um, "God, like why have thou forsaken me?" It kind of sh makes me think like it showed maybe a little bit of lack of faith. Because he had to go through that alone so that 
he can take on all of our sins, right? Because you know how we're in that fallen state. God is not with us. He's with us, but not in the way he could be. And so Jesus was able to feel the pain of fear and doubt and worry, insecurity, everything that we feel in that fallen state. He had to go through that. He knew that God was not with him because of that, right? It's just like when you wake up, once you wake up, you know God is with you. You just know it. And it's not like all that preachy stuff and all that. And, but if he ever left you, you would know that too. Fortunately, thank God, once you're born again, you can't be unborn. But you would know now if he ever left you, you would be going through all that worldly hell again. All that stuff would come back upon you. But because he's with you, you don't have to go through that. Okay. Well, he had to do that so we can overcome. Right, I see. Yeah, yeah. I, see, I see the different side of it now. And that's how he bought because Satan took Jesus into hell, and he should have never done that because Jesus had not committed any sins. We, he, we belonged to him prior to that, right? And we were guilty of sin, but Jesus wasn't. And he had to go through that so he could make a way to bring us back. He was innocent. All right, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So when Jesus uh, flipped the tables at the White House, he wasn't angry. It's just something no. that he had to do. Yeah, because uh, they were not supposed to be selling church and selling stuff in the church like that. Right. And so he did it to prove a point that they were wrong. Like he wasn't but he was not angry none of that. at all. It's just that human nature is of Satan. Right. And 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 they think that that's how everything is. They don't know this other way, because they have forgotten about it due to the trauma. But he was not angry. And you're going to see once you overcome that father state, there are times where you're going to have to raise your voice. You're going to have to take strong action. And if the blind think that you're angry, that's on them. You still have to do what you got to do. Wow. Yeah, because, you know, they keep breaking into our trailers and taking equipment and machinery and thousands of dollars are missing. And, and you're like, in Arizona, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, if I catch this fool, I'm like, I'm going to cut a three-foot piece of hose and I'm going to whip him. Yeah. You know, like... <laughs> And I'm not going to call the cops. I'm just like, I'm just going to whip them, and I'm going to give them the beating that his absent father never That's gave him. Right. And I'm going to tell him, dude, this is what your absent father should have gave you. That's and, right. you know, and, and teach him, but not. And then, you know, sometimes she's like, dude, like, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm not angry. I just want to help him. You know, I feel that. <laughs> I, I honestly feel that something like that would, would help him. <laughs> That's right. Right? I mean, yeah, like, you know, exactly. Like, my mom, I remember, there was a few times where she was like, this is going to hurt me more than you. And then we did the same thing to our kids. Like, dude, like, I don't want to do this. But, you know, like, it wasn't with the hose. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, yeah. But anyways. Like, I, um, I had to raise my voice the other day at my neighbor. Yeah. Next door to me is an old, old, nasty, black bitch. Oh, yeah. I know them. <laughs> and I had told her a year ago, never come on my property again. And so I caught her on camera the other day on the property, being nosy, right? Right. And so I waited till I heard her next door, and I went over to Mike Francis, and I said, I called her name out, yeah. and she looked, who that, who that? I said, this is your last warning. If you come on, if you come on my property again, you're going to regret it. I promise you that. Nice. And she said, well, call the cop, call the cop. And she tried to give me the excuse why she came on. I'm like, right. no excuses. I told you to stay off. And I said, if you ever come on again, you old nasty black bitch, I'm gonna, you're gonna regret it. But I didn't feel anything about it, right? Right. But right. <laughs> she acted like she didn't get the hit the first time. <laughs> nice. And so whatever she thought about it, I don't yeah. care. But she can't come on my property. And so I had to raise my boy and the whole community hurt. Right. Even people were jogging down the sidewalk, they turned around and came back. But I felt, honestly, I felt no anger toward her at all. Right, right. But the average blind person that hears that would think I was angry, and I was not. Yeah, like, it seems like, you know, when, when you talk about forgiveness, like, people think that as Christians we should be, I don't even know how to... Oh, you know, weak. Yeah, like, you know, the P yeah. word. Like, they think that we should be, you know, a bunch of peas. And, and it's just like, like, dude, like, that's, like, that's not, you know... And that's why the world is running over the Bible thumper Christians. Yeah. Because yeah. they're all nice and holy and... 
They can't. They don't speak up for themselves. They don't do anything. And the world is stomping all over. All them. the television preachers. The it's Bible. like that's what they show. Yeah. And that's why you know, like, so a lot of the friends that we used to have, it seems like they 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 weaken us as men and as yeah. women, and Absolutely. we weaken our kids to feel sorry for people and this and that. And it's. I think that's the reason why we're in such a fallen state it is because is. of the church. Absolutely. It definitely helps. Yeah. Because the churches are so weak. The men yeah. are worse than the women. They are. And they are teaching you to be weak. Right. And there are certain words they won't and use. And they make you feel bad others. for standing up for yourself and defending others. That's right. No, that's not right. That's not the way God is. And just think about this. When we do come back to the Father, he said, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. So meaning that the power of God in us is greater than the the so-called power of Satan and the children of the lie. Why are we going to have a great power and walk around like victims? Right. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't. You can keep your power if you're going to be a victim anyway. It's yeah. not true. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, don't fall for it. No, no, no. So, anyways, yeah. Yes. See, I told you, like, sometimes like, are you angry? I'm like, no, I'm not angry. I'm just, you know, I just, <laughs> yeah. they can't do this. I'm yeah. just picturing him whooping someone on the street, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> no, whoop them all the way back to Mexico. <laughs> back across the border. Exactly. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. You have to have that power because you need to protect your family too. Yeah. Not just your land, your property, but you got to uh, protect your family. And if they see you a weak father, a weak husband, they'll be back with droves. Exactly. But if they know that you're not going to put up with that, they won't come back. Right. Right. Absolutely. That makes sense, everybody? Yeah. Anybody disagree with that? Okay. 